And the fight against coronavirus is escalating, but so is the spread of the disease. The president has extended the timeline for social distancing. And while lead health experts warn the death toll is likely to dramatically climb right here in the United States. ABC's Andrew Dimbert has the latest from Washington. As the novel coronavirus continues to spread across America, President Trump has extended the administration's social distancing guidelines until the end of April. Nothing would be worse than declaring victory before the victory is won. That would be the greatest loss of all. It's been one month since the first death in the U.S. was announced. Now the country has over 135,000 cases and more than 2,500 have died. Back when only 15 people in America were infected and no deaths were yet reported, the president said... And again, when you have 15 people and the 15 within a couple of days is going to be down to close to zero... Uh, that's a pretty good job we've done. But on Sunday, a similar response from the president, despite his top coronavirus experts claiming possibly 100 to 200,000 people could end up dying. We all together have done a very good job. One of those experts, Dr. Anthony Fauci, warning the U.S. could get millions of confirmed cases of COVID-19. I mean, even if these guidelines are extended, we will lose more people. Across the country, doctors and nurses on the front lines continue to face critical coronavirus supply shortages with masks and ventilators. The president suggesting hospitals or their workers might be to blame. 10 to 20,000 masks to 300,000, even though this is different. Something's going on. Where are the masks going? And while the economic fallout continues to impact millions of Americans, financial relief is on the way. Stimulus checks for families could be distributed in less than a month. Within three weeks, we'll have direct deposit into people's accounts. Andrew Dimbert, ABC News, Washington.